So, everybody is triggered. Well, let me just say, not everybody triggered. But, shout out to Lance Unrivera for doing these interviews on Vlad TV. Finally, he come out and speak. After being 20, I would say like 20, maybe over 20 some years not saying nothing. You know, he this man hasn't spoke. You know, the, the only time he did an interview was on self. And he did a little guest spot on uh, Drink Champs. But hearing, you know, unspeak for all these years, it's dope. It's dope to hear that because un, un never was able to tell his story and never was able to, to speak to the world about how he felt about certain shit and even what happened to his man Biggie. You know what I'm saying? Because what dudes don't understand is Un is a real one. Say what y'all want about Un Rivera, he's a real one. You know what I'm saying? Um, Biggie was his man's. Um, his love that he had for Big and how he he wrote for him. But I love how he he touched on a lot of topics, you know, prior on Diaz and prior the whole stabbing and prior the whole demise of Biggie, but he touched on everything um, with figures like Kadar Massenberg. I hope they interview Kadar because Kadar is like the piece of the puzzle of um, Brooklyn, Brooklyn dudes that came in the industry you know, and was getting money. You know, Kadar Massenburg is um, family to Dr. York, if y'all know that or not. And, um, you know, he found Joe D'Angelo and, you know, Stessa Sonic, he was managing, and many others, you know. And his history, is it goes a long way because you got to look at Kadar, you know, and Jimmy Henchman and, and, and Peter Thomas and all of these dudes that came in the industry at a time where... A lot of dudes wasn't like coming at, in the industry, young dudes coming in the industry in that era. They was coming in there in the 80s, Eric B and all of them. You know what I'm saying? So Kadar's a very important figure. So I'm glad that he shout him out. And I hope that Vlad bring Kadar Massenberg up there because he got a story to tell too. And, uh, you know, Daddy always shouts him out. But what I like it about Un is that he tell a story about everybody, you know what I'm saying? He tells a story about how he met Jack, you know, the Puma boys. Um, he talked about how, you know, his transition from the streets to the, to, the, to, the, to the industry. You know, being from Fulton Street and being Big's big homie and partner, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, Lance Rivera was big partner, you know, so was Don Poole and Many other dudes that he brought in there, you know, Rube and, 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 and D-Rock and Money Al and, you know, the whole list goes on. The dudes that he, he brought in there into the game and how it was a family because Biggie put on Brooklyn. If you look at it, he put on Bedford Stockson. You know, everybody, as you see Casino Mike, he was running with Big. Everybody that you see, she running around with certain people was running with Big. And Big brought a lot of dudes with him. You know, Clark Kent being his DJ and all that. You know, but what I liked it about the story, but he, he talked about Pac and he talked about how Pac and Jimmy Henchman was going through what they was going through. And many of the stories that he touched on, I don't heard before, you know, his relationship with Nas, you know, cause Big did have a real strong relationship with Nas. Um, you know, the whole little Kim and Foxy situation, which is true, it did come to guns, you know. So he was glad that he he cleared up a lot of shit and that, you know, Puff wasn't really, was threatened by Un, you know what I'm saying? Because Un had a vision, you know. A lot of people don't understand, Un had a vision. And his and he, he's one of the smartest minds because he could have did a lot with Kim, right? He could have did a lot with, with the major figures, with Dutch and Spade and Charlie Baltimore. Because he had them. He had them all. But, you know, on the whole Jay-Z thing, you know, messed up the whole situation for Un. But Un was a, a, a smart businessman, a smart mind. And Gene Dill always gave Un his flowers, which I respect about Gene Dill. He gave Un his flowers because a lot of people didn't know who Un was or Un Diaz or just that whole movement. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people that did know who Un was, people that did know they know Un of, 
being stabbed, but they don't know the backstory that that was Big's man's. That the reason why Jay, why he got stabbed was it wasn't nothing about no bootlegging issue. It was a, it was really about Charlie Baltimore, you know. And Cam, gotta give Cam his respect because Cam still gave on his flowers. He always gave on his flowers and. Un, because Un was the dude that, that, that found him, you know, when they went and did horses, you know, Cam was Un's artist, you know, they had Charlie and they had the figures, which was Dutch and Spade, and they was his artist, so he had all of them as artists at the time, so, you know, what the story, what, what Un's story is, and I hope the documentary comes out, I hope, you know, his book come out. And then you got some dudes that's salty about un going up there to Vlad and they, they feel some type of way, you know, because he speaking facts. So you got cats like a, a little Sean that feel some type of way. You know what I'm saying? A dude that really career ain't went nowhere, but he mad. It's like he mad at the whole art of dialogue. A lot of these dudes be salty. But other than that, man... Un, keep doing your thing. I, I, I bangs with Un, and I hope people support, continue to keep supporting. You know, I don't like everything that Vlad does, but I like that he's he's get, pulling guys like Un up, and he's pulling guys like Tony Lewis and a lot of dudes that him, Lou Sims, and a lot of dudes that stories need to be heard. The real people that need to their stories to be heard. You know what I'm saying? Where a lot of you, you dudes that got platforms, you black YouTubers that got platforms, should have been pulling these guys up, but y'all not. You know what I'm saying? Y'all reaching into whoever y'all want to reach to. But shout out to Vlad. And I hope all the dialogue, my bro, all the dialogue get on up there too. Because all the dialogue is another great platform. You know, so salute to them, man. You know, salute to Un. And um, I'm definitely going to be supporting the movement. And I'm going to support the uh, the movie when it comes out. Salute.